Hello and welcome to Ginny's Horse Product Review. I'm Ginny and today I'm going to be trying a bunch of different saddles on Mule Pancake. I've been riding her in my Thoroughgood Compact GP which I love for short-backed horses and um, it's a like it's an okay fit. I don't think it's like perfect for her. Again she's a mule. I used to ride on horses and I did have it flocked to um, my horse's backs that had a little bit of a more dip so I may when I get a chance have a saddle fitter out to really get that fit to her um, but today I'm going to try a couple of my other saddles on her and um, see how they look so why don't you join me That's our mule. That is our mule. So I just finished up trying my saddles on Mule Pancake. She's still hanging out here. It is really hot. Um, it's just starting to cool down here, but again, it's like noon right now. We had a little ride. I tried all my saddles on her, and what fit her the best is actually my older Jeffrey's All Purpose, and then also my Marcianti Trail Saddle, which I used to ride my Arabian in. It's just really nice. It has like flared out shoulders. I think it's going to be really accommodating for her, but I only rode her in the jet freeze today. And then I put her in a different bit because we're still like going through a bunch of bits and seeing what she likes. And I tried her when I tried her in before because I was like, maybe she'll like it. She still doesn't like it. It was this um, Bowsher or Boucher, however you say it. Sorry, the gnats are like terrible right now. So I'm swatting at them. So I didn't canter her because I don't really... She's just like chomping it and like kind of just like bracing on it and pulling through it. So I just did walk and trot and did like a lot of riding with my seat and voice cues. She's got a really good whoa, um, but I just didn't feel super safe cantering in that. So I didn't. I'm probably going to go back to the Mullenmouth Kimberwick, which she's been going in pretty good. She chomps on it a little bit in the beginning, but then kind of like quits. But she was literally chomping on the boucher I had her in all day today <laughs> and it's um three piece um it's got like a little lozenge not really a french link but like a little lozenge copper lozenge in it and she's just not feeling it she should but she doesn't like it and it's up to her so we won't be trying that one again and probably go back to the Kimberwick 
Uh, I would just love to get her in like a traditional snaffle. I just don't know if that's gonna happen. I think that she went in a curb in her previous life and that's what she's really uh, comfortable with. And she maybe has some anxiety about, is she gonna get like jerked around and things like that as soon as the bait goes in her mouth. But we'll just, <laughs> oh yeah, get that good roll. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I just gave her a click in that sit position. We'll see if that takes. Um, she does know the bridge signal, so who knows? We'll, we'll see if we can get that. But I'm gonna say goodbye to Mule Panke and her boyfriend over here. And yeah, we'll uh, see how it goes trying these saddles out, uh, give, get them a few more rides, and uh, I'll keep you guys posted. Until next time, happy trails.